everybody, welcome back to Science Time with the Thompsons and today we're going to learn how to model a volcano in your kitchen. So let's get started. Have you ever heard of a place called the Ring of Fire? I fell into a burning ring of fire. I went down. No, down. no, no, not that ring of fire. No, the ring of fire I'm talking about is located around the Pacific Ocean. It follows a path characterized by volcanoes and frequent earthquakes. In fact, 75% of Earth's volcanoes are located here at the ring of fire. That's more than 450 volcanoes. So there are several different ways you can cause an eruption, but the way we're going to do it is pretty simple. We're going to use basically our important ingredients are baking soda and vinegar. Um, but we're going to add a couple more things in just to make it a little cooler looking. So vinegar, just your basic white vinegar, baking soda. I'm also going to use a little bit of food coloring and I'm going to throw in a little bit of dish detergent and that'll just make it a little more fizzy when it's coming out. So what I have done to start with is I put some baking soda into just an empty water bottle. Now, that was kind of hard to do. You could use a spoon, but what I did was you may have a funnel. If, if one of your parents has a funnel, you can use that, but I just created one out of an index card. I just folded the index card and stuck a piece of tape on it and created a little funnel, and that made it much easier to pour the baking soda in. So that's one way you can do that without get spilling it everywhere. All right, then I'm gonna go ahead and put a few drops of food color. And you can also put it in the vinegar first if you want to, but I'm just gonna put a few drops right here. Now I'm gonna put a couple of squirts of dish detergent here. All righty. And then I also went ahead and put some vinegar in a water bottle, again, to make it a little easier to pour. All right, so let's do this and see what happens. And of course, it's just a little pink. I could put more food coloring in it. You can mix colors, make it more orangey. Boy, look at that go. Now what's happening here, guys, the reason this is foaming up like this is this is creating a chemical reaction. Um, and in a chemical reaction, sometimes a gas is released. And in this case, carbon dioxide is being made and it's releasing it so it's bubbling up. And you can see how it's foaming more because of that dish detergent. You don't have to put that in there, but I just think it looks kind of cool. All right, so we've learned the basic process by how this works, but why don't we make one and make it look a little bit more like a real volcano? All right, so we talked about how most of the world's volcanoes are long, located at the Ring of Fire, but that's not the only place you find volcanoes. Has anyone here ever been to Hawaii? I have, I have! Lucky. Well, Hawaii also has some volcanoes, so that's where we're pretending that we are right now, okay? So let me show you what I have done. You do not have to go and buy clay and fancy materials to make your own volcano. So what I have done here, with the help of my family, is we have just taken materials we had around the house, and we've made this a little bit more realistic looking than just a water bottle, okay? So what I did was I put my bottle inside a shoe box, okay? I crumpled up some brown construction paper, put it on there, and then Nolan and Dante created us some little trees and some houses and a street here because 
Of course, these people have built their town at the foot of an extinct volcano, which means they don't think it's ever going to erupt again. Little do they know, okay? So, we're going to see here if these people are going to survive this volcano, okay? Now, a real volcano, it's going to have this cloud that comes up and it's going to spew everywhere, but ours is probably going to lean to one side of those. So, let's see if it takes out any of these trees or these houses. Are you ready? Yeah. All right. Here we go. Let's see what happens. Oh, well, it looks like nobody's going to make it. So think about, guys, if this were a real volcano, you definitely want to get out. So guys, you can make your volcano as simple like we did in the first demonstration or as fancy as you want it to be, but I hope you have some fun causing some eruptions. Hey Dante! What? What do you get when an elephant skydives? What? A big hole! <laughs>